Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we have the Moto X here, 2014 edition, and uh, I want to talk to you about Assist. Assist was on the uh, Moto X uh, last year, and it's now um, going to be on the Moto G uh, for this year, and I guess uh, yeah, actually in the older edition as well, and the E. Uh, so now Assist is pretty much the same. It looks a little different. Now it doesn't have its own app anymore. Uh, if you remember in the past, if you did have a Moto X, you would see an Assist app here. Uh, no more. What you want to do, as I mentioned in the other video for Moto Voice, all the, these types of things, the actions, the Assist, the voice, and the display are all part of this Moto app right here and I've already have gone through the settings um, or the initial setup and have set up different things and right now it's giving you it's telling you to actually speak and you can and giving you some ideas for different um, phrases that you can say so um, what I'll do is I'm just gonna hit this setting as icon here and this is where you get to all the different um, uh, different apps within this master app and assist is what we're here to talk about right now and assist lets you set up different things for when you're sleeping driving home or in meetings now for example uh, let's look at sleeping what you can do is uh, silence the device uh, completely uh, but only allowed uh, favorite people or, or someone someone that calls twice you can check either one of those um, you can keep your screen dark and then you can also set this to automatically happen between any specific time that you'd like the default is 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. but you can change that to any particular time that you want so that's going to happen automatically um, there is a command in the voice that you'll be able to say good night to the phone and uh, it'll and and that'll go right into it for you if you'd like. Now, um, driving is another area, and what's all about driving is keeping hands free. And so, what you can do is you set it up for talk to me, and you can enable this. And uh, when it detects driving, uh, right now it's not. I'm not driving, but you enable it, and it'll read your text messages if you'd like. And I don't know if I can actually enable that now while I'm not. I can say agree. Oops. Go back in there. Driving. So there, I can do. I can check that off. Uh, and then play music. Uh, you can also say what you want as your your default music app and then you can have more options as well um, and looking for Bluetooth devices so what will happen is while you're driving your text messages will be read to you and you'll be able to respond to them in a similar fashion you can do this while you're at home as well with text messages you can add a location for your home address so you just push push that in right there you can add your current uh, location or uh, type one in and then you can say uh, and then check off once you've done that you can check talk to me and again what will happen is text messages will be read to you uh, so from afar so if your phone is sitting on your counter and you can't get to it you can then hear the text message and respond to it. my wife uses that all the time actually uh, on her original Moto X and she loves it meeting is uh, another area here where you can um, if you have a meeting or if you're marked as busy in your calendar it you can have it automatically silence your phone and again it will work where only favorite callers come through if you'd like um, silence all or allow favorites or someone who calls twice obviously because that's an emergency and allow vibrate only you can do that as well um, and then you can have auto reply settings as well so pretty straightforward it's pretty much the same as last year it's just now within this master app called moto and um, actions is great I, I know a lot of people who, who like them and use different parts of it, use all of it. So definitely get into it. Um, it's convenient. It's there. There are other apps that do similar things out there, but it's already embedded in the phone. So definitely, if you've picked up a Moto X, give this a try. And if you have an old Moto X, um, definitely, I would assume they're going to update to this setup as well. Uh, but you do it right now have the assist app on there as a separate app and then eventually with this setup as well and you can do all the same things so that's moto assist i hope this helps
Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.